physics doesn't know much about time. That is, we have, in a sense, uncovered the fundamental unity at the basis of the diversity of the universe. We've discovered the field of non-duality, the unified field or superstring field. And from that perspective, it's a little clearer what time is. It's very clear what space is. Time is still a bit of a mystery. What quantum cosmology tells us, the Wheeler-DeWitt equation, is that time is a perspective. Ultimately, there is no evolution or time. There's just the eternal now, the entire universe existing in this moment, past, present, and future, collapsed to the present. But within that grand unity, within that grand reality, you can take a perspective in which the emergence of a time parameter, an emergence of a sense of time, can be sort of conceived. So within that conception, the experience of the flow of time is possible in a state of consciousness. We call it waking consciousness. In other states of consciousness, transcendental consciousness, cosmic consciousness, God consciousness, unity consciousness, there are seven states of consciousness, each with completely different experiences of reality. The concept of time is different. In the transcendent meditative state, there is no time. In enlightenment or cosmic consciousness, you have the timeless along with the flow of time. In unity consciousness, there is no time, no, nothing but unity. Unity basically playing, interacting with itself. So again, the emergence or dissolution of time, it's a perspective that is valid in different states of consciousness. So, it's a consciousness-dependent thing.